Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another Exhumed Movie Review. Today we are talking about Hexen. Really quick though, before I get into anything else, I want to say thank you to my creepy patron peeps for your support of my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description. So part fiction, part documentary, Hexen depicts the history of witchcraft from its earliest days through present day, in this case, 1922. From pagan worship to satanic rites to hysteria, the film takes you on a journey through the ages with highly effective visual sequences. So at the time of its production, Hexen was the most expensive film produced in any Scandinavian country, costing then about 2 million Swedish krona. I hope that's how you say that. Um, I tried converting it <laughs> um, to what it would be today in US dollars, and the site I was using came up with $6 million today. Um, I'm not sure how accurate that site was, but I tried. <laughs> Director Benjamin Christensen financed the film through a Swedish company, but persuaded them to allow him to film in Denmark, which they allowed, and they also paid to have the studio's facilities up to date. The film is divided into seven parts, the first being a series of medieval woodcuts and engravings, which come to life in the following six sections of the film. The most notable scene of the movie is when a coven of witches fly over the village on broomsticks and pitchforks. Apparently this scene was achieved by shooting 75 individual witches on separate pieces of film that combined on an optical printer. You might remember me mentioning the optical printer from my review of The Phantom Carriage, um, and I talked about how about this time the optical printer was a thing, but it wasn't as widely used and popular. But given the amount of money that was given to Christensen to make this movie, it's kind of not surprising he probably had the money to spare to use this piece of equipment, which makes this effect way simpler. Airplane propeller was used to give the appearance of wind fluttering through their cloaks, and the village below is actually a miniature town built on a turntable and then rotated so this, quote, tracking shot, unquote, would appear endless. Christensen claimed Hexen was supposed to be the first of a trilogy, with the second being called The Saints and the third being called The Spirits. But these were never realized, partly due to the fact that Hexen was so expensive to make, and also given the fact that Christensen had moved to Hollywood, and these types of eclectic films were definitely not in vogue. This is definitely a one-of-a-kind film, and I described it as like part fiction, part documentary. I think it's supposed to be fiction, but it's like very much based in reality. I don't know, it's weird. And through the title cards, Christensen is like addressing the audience and it's, I don't know, it's definitely unique. And I like the way the story was presented chronologically. Um, so like at the beginning, like I said, um, the depiction of like medieval like beliefs of witchcraft and how they persecuted witches and how they, you know, like the very barbaric ways they, you know, found out people were witches and then punished them, leading up to modern times. Again, modern being 1922. I was definitely vibing on the whole idea of the witch hunt being like very barbaric and cruel, and of course very biased, the way they figured out somebody was a witch. Like there was basically no way you could survive once you were accused. <laughs> Though the ancient woodcuts shown in the movie like show men also worshiping Satan and practicing and practicing witchcraft, Christensen's reenactments only show women being convicted of witchcraft, which is historically true for the most part, but it kind of had a misogynist tone to it, um, especially when it got to modern times and we see um, a modern woman kind of exhibiting the same symptoms of like possession of the devil or devil worship, which in modern times Christensen is calling hysteria. But of course we all know only women get hysterical, right? Plus there's also the age old witchcraft equals Satan worship thing, which I hate. But sadly that and my earlier complaints were simply how it was back then, I suppose. Also, also, Christensen based a lot of this movie on the Malus Maleficarum, 
probably not saying that right at all, is a very old text <laughs> that tells how to properly identify a witch. <laughs> Anyways, all my complaints aside, what matters is how we depict this sort of thing nowadays, which is a bit of foreshadowing for my chilling adventures of Sabrina Rand, which is forthcoming. Overall, I'm glad I watched it, but due to the length, I don't think I'm gonna watch it again. Um, not that it's like extremely long, I think it's almost two hours, but for like a silent movie <laughs> and for one like that kind of, you know, rubbed me the wrong way a few part in a few parts, I'm not gonna watch it again, even though like visually there are a lot of cool elements. The way it was like constructed and put together and presented was cool. Anyways though, I'm not gonna watch it anytime soon again. Um, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of five. On IMDb it has a 7.7 .7 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes it has an 88% critic score and an 81% audience score. And on Letterboxd it has a 3.8 out of five. It's all Hexen on Amazon, so I'll leave an affiliate link in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. Of course, there's no pressure to use that link, but if you do, it does help out the channel a little bit. If you've already seen Hexen, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. As always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday and you can ring that notification bell to be notified every time I post a video, even though it doesn't always work. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay strange. Bye!